Hello, in this video you will learn how to create a video recorder using Camera X in Android Studio with Java. First let's start by adding all the required dependencies in build.gradle file. After adding all the dependencies we should include Kotlin plugin since Camera X is mostly based on Kotlin. If we don't include Kotlin then we will not be able to access every Camera X class. After adding Kotlin plugin in both the build.gradle file let's sync it and add the required permission in Android manifest file. Since write external storage doesn't work on Android SDK version above 28, we are mentioning it to work only till SDK version 28 by adding max SDK version. And in order to access camera we need to include use feature tag. Now let's code the activity main.xml. Before that let's include all the required icons to drawable folder. Let's change the tint of the icons for better look. In activity main.xml let's change the main layout to relative layout and add a preview view, an image button to start and stop recording and two other image buttons to flip camera and toggle flash. Let's give preview as ID to this preview view. Let's place this button on the bottom and center horizontal. Let's set scale type to crop center so that the icon will look bigger and let's set background to selectable item background borderless to make the background transparent and to give it a ripple effect. Let's give capture as ID to this image button. Now let's add toggle flash and flip camera button on the top right corner.
Now let's code the main activity.java file. Let's begin by declaring the global variables. The start camera error will disappear after we create start camera function. Now let's initialize all the declared variables first. Then let's set an on click listener to capture button to toggle recording start and stop. Before starting to record we need all the permissions to be granted. So, we'll check if each permission is granted, else we will request each permission. When it comes to write external storage permission, we need it only till Android version Pi. So, we'll check if the Android device SDK version is equal to or less than Pi version and if it is lesser, we will request write external storage permission, else we will start recording. After all the permission is granted we will toggle recording by calling this function. This will show as an error since we will be creating this function later. Now let's set on click listener to flip camera button and inverting the value of camera facing variable. To do this we'll check if camera facing equals lens facing back. If the condition is true we'll set value of camera facing to lens facing front. If the condition is false we will set the value as lens facing back.
After changing the value we must start the camera using the function in order to flip the camera. Now we're checking the camera permission as soon as the app is opened. If the permission is granted we start the camera. Else we will request the camera permission. Let's assign the service and then we'll start creating functions. Let's create capture video function. First when this function is called we are setting image resource of capture image button to stop drawable. Then we are creating a recording variable named recording1 and assigning recording to it. And with if condition we are checking if recording1 is not equal to null. If the condition is true then it means recording is in process. So if this is the case we have to stop the recording by using recording.stop and set recording as null. Now if the recording is not in progress we should start the recording. For that we should first create the file name for the recording. For this tutorial I'm using only current time as recording name, you can give anything you want. To store the recording as MP4 we are using Media Store Library. To save a media using Media Store, first we have to put some values like name, path, and line type into content values and pass the values into Media Store output options. Display name should be the name of the file, mine type should be the type of file that we are storing and relative path should be the folder location. For this tutorial I'm using Camera X Recorder folder inside Movies folder to save the recording. You can rename it to anything. Now we are passing all the content values into media store output option in order to wrap it into one variable, so that we can pass it into video capture. If you don't want to record audio then do not add with audio enabled. Baby, 
since we have added with audio enabled, we have to add a permission check above this code or else it will be showing as an error. Now inside this block we are checking if video record event is an instance of video record event dot start. If the condition is true we are setting the capture image button resource to stop drawable. Else if video record event is an instance of video record event dot finalize, it means the recording has ended, we are checking if the video record event has any error. If video record event does not have any error, then we display a toast messages showing that the recording was successful. Else if it has any error, then we display the error code. Oops I forgot the not operator. At the end we are changing the capture image button resource to record drawable. Now let's create start camera function. This function is used to start the preview of the camera in our app. To show preview of camera we need a thread and a listener. Inside this listener we are building the preview and displaying it in the preview view in outactivitymain.xml. Recorder acts as output for video capture. We are unbinding the provider so that it doesn't overlap. 
We use camera selector to specify which camera to be used for recording. Now we are creating a camera variable and assigning the provider to it. Finally we are calling the toggle flash function when the toggle flash button is clicked. This function toggles the camera flash on and off. Now let's create the toggle flash function. This code will check the flash state and will invert its state. We will display an error message if the flash is not available. We are placing this toast message inside a runnable because this function will be called from a thread. If we try to show a toast message without runnable, it will cause runtime error. We are stopping the service to stop all the thread. Oops, we have to pass surface provider from preview view here. And we should use main activity got this to bind to lifecycle. Now let's run this. We are getting this error message since flash does not work in any way. Works fine. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Happy coding!